this is a cute little game that reminds me of a night in the woods and that's why i wanted to play it so much i absolutely adored that game i think it was a really cute adventure with animals something very different than you're used to i didn't really like the gameplay elements of it though i'm more of like a visual novel player where i just like reading text and things like that but there's more interactivity to it but I still love it anyways. So we're gonna jump into this. I think this is gonna be very similar to A Night in the Woods. So if you are a fan of that, you probably will enjoy this as well. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Hi out there. Hope you're well and I'm glad to have you back. Today I wanna to update you on what's going on in Porcupine. Is that like the area we're in? So we're in all of porcupine interesting city of silence okay not what i would picture a place called porcupine to be but sure again i was on the road for you this week and ran into a lot of old familiar faces among other things i stopped by gilbert's this weekend and sampled giuliano's latest creation wild gooseberry beer sounds uh quite different Highly recommend it for fans of fruity drinks. It's more for holidays, though, but feel free to give it a try. Well, if maybe the opportunity presents itself, maybe we will. I love this time of year, and you can probably guess why. I don't know. How do you guys feel? Are you fall fans? I think fall is, is a very interesting time of the year where it starts getting colder. You got, like, pumpkins and Halloween and uh, Thanksgiving. Just everything looks a lot different than it does any time of the year. The Hibernation Festival is right around the corner. The preparations have already begun, and I talked to the organizer. Oh, now it's the City of Joy. It was the City of Silence, now it's the City of Joy. Maybe they rebranded. Some popular bands will be on the bill, and local arts will be represented as well. Plus, of course, there's the big stew contest again. Okay, we came at the right time of the year. I like it. Stew is like the perfect thing for the colder months of the year. Remember last year, Chloe Colbert took first place with her sage soup. Can't say I've ever had a sage soup before. Honestly, though, I think, like, once it starts getting cold like this, mm, I mean, chicken noodle soup is always good any time of the year. I mean, it can be summer, and I'll, I'll eat that. But I think, like, a good, like, chili would be nice. Yeah. I, I don't know if that's considered a soup, is it? I mean, I think most people would. Bring your biggest spoon and try your way through. Yes, actually, chili and cornbread. That's what I'm thinking of. That's that's a good combination right there. There are a lot of highlights again this year. It took a few days off and take a few days off and stop by. It's the City of Colors. Okay, so I'm guessing it has multiple names. So City of Silence is the City of um, something else in the City of Colors. Fortunately, this is the time of year when the days are getting shorter again. Today, I had to put on a sweater for the first time. Gosh, that's been it here where I live. I feel like I'm starting to wear a little bit warmer clothes. Today uh, today was fine. It's like 60, 70 degrees. It's good. Um, but some days, it's definitely getting colder, especially in the mornings. Crazy yesterday. It felt like summer after all. This is like a perfect time to play this game, actually, now that I think about it. But I guess that's how it is with the seasons. You get used to the sun too quickly. I should probably preface that this is just the prologue for the game. I haven't really said that, have I? Uh, so I'm only going to be playing through the prologue. It's kind of a demo, but I'm hoping this prologue is exactly how like the main start of the game will... Or at least it'll be similar. Uh, we'll see about that. Excellent. A good oh, good day always starts with being late. <laughs> um, no, not particularly, but sure. And without Dr. Krokowski busting your chops, or bust a coffee machine that doesn't even get warm... Anyways, I gotta run. Ooh, we finally get to play. Um, so it looks like we have our phone. Can I open that? St. Ursula Task. Um, find a way through the construction site. Okay. Um, okay, I was like trying to figure out how to get out of that. <laughs> I was a little stuck, guys. Hello, they have a sign that says E, so I'm gonna press E on you and see what happens. You late too? Nope, I'm just sure how to here to show how dialogues work and follow porcupine i see thanks a lot <laughs> no problem <laughs> all right then goodbye <laughs> can i follow after you nope apparently you can't follow him he's just here to show you the dialogue all right let's go this way let's see what's going on here 
Uh, we have a jumping puzzle, and we can press the space bar. Perfect. Ooh, hold up. I, like, accidentally did something here. I'm, like, gliding. Okay. Um, so we need to do this. Oh, am I supposed to be gliding right there? Oh, okay. I discovered something slightly before we were supposed to. Perfect. That works. Alright, we made it. Look at, look at me, guys. I'm so good at this game. Someone there. Rudolph, you hear something too? What you say? Guess the last beer yesterday had already expired. Make a pot of coffee. I got a hangover. All right. <laughs> this is just going to be a drinking game with animals. St. <laughs> Ursula Hospital. Perfect. That's where we want to be. You howl, we heal. Slogan ain't half bad. Yeah, it actually is kind of fitting for animals. Oh, this is the bear statue. Let's look at this. Who is that hat wearing giant? I don't know. It looks like a bear to me. Ooh, we can actually stand on these. I'm so happy when they put little details like that. Yeah, this just reminds me so much of freaking A Night in the Woods, and I love it. Ooh, we actually have a reflection in here, too. That's cool. Uh, okay, so up here we have, I'm assuming that's information, that's parking, and then that's the bus over there. These generic hospital signposts are fascinating. You find them at every corner, pointing in all directions. Still, you get lost all the time. Must be frustrating for a signpost. Okay, so we have the front entrance right here. I want to see if there's anything else we can check out real quick. Uh, there is a porcupine right here. Our hospital could use more art like this, but I'm afraid Mr. Heinrich and Dr. Theobald from the hospital management have a different opinion. Nevertheless, thanks, anonymous artist. Yeah, I mean, management net is never any fun. We have the parking over here. Got some interesting looking cars. This is a very wide car. Oh no, we're trapped. Wait. Yeah? Yeah? Oh, no! I had such a good idea and it was all ruined. Well, okay, I guess we can't really. Oh, I can't. Can I not jump on this car? Okay, I can. I love that they put that detail. Like, uh, I can't go in the trash can. Alright, I guess we have to go inside, guys. That's fine. That's, that's kind of the objective here. So we'll do it. Wow, we just got, like, Thanos snapped right there. Did you see that? <laughs> we just disappeared. Ooh, intro sequence. Okay. I was kind of expecting this right at the start of the game, and they did something else. So, fine with me. I'm just really surprised this is not made by the same people who made A Night in the Woods. Like, is it at least some of the same team or something? Like, where was the inspiration? Because this feels exactly the same. Like, okay, obviously it's a little different, but... The feel of it's the same. Wait a minute. Ooh, are those chalk dogs? The last time I ate those, I was a kid. Rest in peace, the chocolate taco. Interesting. So I think this is a unisex bathroom. Wait, what? Do you guys see that symbol up there? It's, it's the devil. <laughs> There's like a devil up here. Interesting. Oh, you are a hippopotamus. Hello. Good morning, Ingrid. You've been working here two weeks and you're already late. That's not gonna cut it, kid. Yes, nice to see you too. Save yourself the trouble. Bad day. Bad. My coffee machine is full of mold. And the snack machine ate all my change. White Sassy, what's up with the snack? We have options! Yes, this is exactly the same as I remember it. Quite Sassy, what's up with the snack machine? Any news? Did something happen last night? There's a construction site outside the hospital. When isn't there a construction site here? I get the feeling the city's only tearing up the road so it can rebuild again af them afterwards. And then after... And then they talk about fiber optics. Fiber optics, who needs that? Fiber's great. What are you talking about? Fiber makes it way faster. Can we, like, look at this? Do you see her eyes following me? Lots of little details in here that I'm really loving so far. Hmm, suspicious. And still the devil is up there. Apparently you have to run that way to find him. So we're gonna go this way instead, because that doesn't sound fun. Uh, so we have an elevator right here. I'm not sure if that's... Or we can exit out there. Which way are we supposed to go? There's apparently two. Uh, let's see what's over here. Looks like a cafe. Cafeteria is closed again. I don't even ask why anymore, but I don't mean to complain. 
Everyone in this hospital does their best. Yes, especially Ingrid, who's complaining about mold in her, her coffee, which understandably, that, that's a valid point. Gosh dang, how far can I go here? Go to the third floor, perfect. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to quit the game. <laughs> nope, don't do that, guys. <laughs> Gosh, they're letting me go really far. I just wanted to see what's going on over here. Okay, apparently we're outside. <coughs> I gotta say, I like the logo um, for the hospital. It looks pretty cool. It's like this, like, crest. Kind of cool. Uh, the ambulance has probably seen better days, too. I think even the equipment at my alma mater... Alma mater? I don't know how to pronounce that, guys. I know technically what that is. I just don't know how to pronounce it. It's more modern than this. And even that could be described as antique. Well, as long as it's still running, you don't have to retire it yet. I kind of like that old jalopy. Can I... Can I maneuver? I'm already trying to break the game, guys. I'm gonna get over that wall. Uh, it doesn't appear I can do that. Let's check over here. Wow. Either this is the reason for the closed cafeteria or the surgeon's been busy. Hmm, interesting. Uh, it doesn't appear that I can maneuver my way out of this. Also, I do apologize. I'm someone who likes to look at every little nook and cranny of an area, so I will probably be doing that. Um, feel free to skip ahead if you are just like, I want to get forward with the story here. But I like to look at all the little areas and get like the full story of what's going on. That's the janitor's room. Hello, Mr. Glendower. Are you there? Leave me alone. I'm taking a break right now. Oh. Anyways, let's go cause more havoc. Uh, the door is closed. The sign says main storage room. Okay, can't access that. It's fine. I like how we can glide indoors, too. I, I like that they let you do that. It was really annoying in, like, the older Pokemon games when you got inside and you couldn't run. Does that annoy anybody else? Thankfully, they fixed that in some of the later generations, but... Okay, so we have the stairs right here. I don't want to go upstairs. <sighs> no, how do I get down there? I want to... I want to see what's right here. Okay, apparently can't do that. Uh, painkillers, towels, disinfectants, bandages, just a regular hospital shelf, or a hypochondriac shopping list. Interesting. Can I actually take the elevator? I want to check that real quick. I didn't think it was going to be the stairs right there. The elevator is broken again. It often bugs me that I don't own a car, but at least I've gotten toned legs now. Interesting. I feel like birds have very skinny legs to begin with, so... All right, I guess we got to go upstairs. Interesting. I like the way they layered this. Um, it'd be kind of hard to tell, but they've kind of made it so, like... Well, let me see how this works. So how do I go up? Like, do I have to jump? Okay, so it looks like you have to jump, and that's kind of how they divide it. I mean, that system works just fine. Um, doesn't look like there's anything over here to explore. Let's go over here. This is the chief of medicine's office in the hospital's administration. Okay, so I can't go there either. Oh, wait. So, I just realized that that little devil symbol, is that supposed to be a cat? <laughs> Am I dumb? <laughs> I I looked at that and I was like, oh, it's like a little devil, you know, it's got the horns and it's got the I think that's supposed to be a cat. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just made that connection as I'm looking at it. I'm like, is that a cat tail? <sighs> Anyways. Um... Let's see, we got a gurney over here. Uh, this is our surgical ward. Okay. Not very descriptive, but sure. Nothing over here to explore. Can we go up? How far does, up does this go? This is our second internal medicine ward in the intensive care unit. Okay, I actually will continue on here just because I don't want to go too far up because we'll probably be doing that here soon anyways. Uh, so let's go to the third floor. That was our objective. Right, go this way of course we know that's not working uh interesting okay so we have a lot of rooms we could be going into can i go this way no uh here's the storage room for our ward most of the time it's empty that's why we get the drug that's why we get the drugs and materials from the main storage room on the ground floor that seems kind of inconvenient not to have it all on the same floor this is the way to our break room there have been days when i haven't set foot in this room once why is our break room at all if there are hardly any breaks? It's sad for the room to not be in use at all. I feel like that's just a matter of hospitals being a very busy place. 
All right, let's explore. This is um, patient room number 32, I believe. Hey, how's it going? I'm your doctor. I'm totally not doing anything suspicious in here. Oh, hello there. Yep, how's it going? Yep. Oh, wow, that's your internal organs. Great. Lovely. Uh, apparently, I can't talk to these people. Hopefully, um, in the final version, they'll all have something to say. Anyways, let's go check uh, patient room 31. Maybe there's something more interesting going on in there. Or maybe I'm just, like, totally getting ahead of myself and we're supposed to be, like, waiting. Uh, unfortunately, I have to walk in the patient's room, which I don't like. Uh, you look like a polar bear. Can I talk to you? And No, I cannot. Well, that's sad. Okay, we're going to go find what we're actually supposed to be doing right now. Because it seems like nobody wants to talk to us. Hello? Oh, wow. You're like a snow leopard, and we have a cow. I'm glad you made it before it got dark. Sorry about that, Dr. Krokowski. I asked the patients not to die until you arrived. Wow, okay, a little snooty much. I may not be so generous next time. I'll be more punctual in the future. That's probably just me, like, going on a joy ride, just wanting to explore the entire hospital before we actually go to the objective up here. Not more punctual, just punctual. Just punctual. Well, all right, let's start the round. Time waits for no one. We'll start with room 301. I'm guessing... Okay. This is where our rosters are posted and the cleaning schedule. And someone apparently wants to sell a bike. <laughs> I might take a look at that bike. <laughs> okay. Uh, interesting. Should we just go into a completely different room? Would that be bad? <laughs> we're just like on the job and we're just like, hey, I want to see what everything does. Okay, that guy's sleeping, so I'm assuming he doesn't need any help. This is Mr. Kissinger. Or Kissinger. I don't know how you pronounce his name. Uh, that is why I will never work at a Starbucks or anything like that, because I will I will be one of those people that messes up your name every time. He was admitted last night with a high fever. He's also suffering from severe pain on the right side of his body and an acute rash. How are we feeling today, Mr. Kissinger? Good so far, Dr. Krakowski. I had a rough night, and I'm hungry. Well, that sounds perfect. I would have been worried if you slept here. Well, Mia? Yes. What do you think? Uh, what do I think? Your diagnosis? I see. Yeah, sure. I, uh, I can't figure it out. <laughs> you can't figure it out. Sorry about that. Don't apologize to me. Apologize to the patient. You really need to work on yourself, Mia. I know. <laughs> Just the, the subtle I know. Mr. Kissinger is uh, suffering from herpes zoster, a very pronounced case of shingles. Nothing serious, but we will keep him under observation another day or two. Let's not waste any more time. Get well soon, Mr. Kissinger. Thanks. We still have two more patients to visit in room 302. Let's go. The day is almost over. Alright, let's leave. <laughs> I need to work. You need to work on yourself. I know. Uh... All right, let's go in here. I like how they just kind of walk on their own. Good morning, Miss Kasparis. Good morning. Are the painkillers working? Yes, thank God. That was one hell of a pain. Miss Kasparis came to us yesterday evening with severe pain in her lower abdomen. She has vomited a few times. Urinating is also difficult. It's your turn now. Finley, being late doesn't mean you can shirk work, so go on. Gosh, I wish my wife was up here. She just went to the store. She'd probably actually know, like, what some of these diagnoses are. I mean, she's, she wants to be a nurse one day, so I feel like she would probably know what some of these things are. Anything else to say? Have you gone as silent as a church mouse? Urinary stones. The patient has urinary stones. How does that differ from kidney stones? You should have read about them enough times in your textbooks. Miss Kaparis, I wish you a quick recovery. Calling the nursing staff call the nursing staff if you need anything. Thank you so much, Dr. Krakowski. Follow me, last patient, last chance. Why is she looking at me so snooty? Do you see that? She's like has her eyes on me as we're walking. It's like, hey, the cow didn't know anything either, okay? Good morning, Miss Amit. How are you today? Just a moment, what's this? Your dressing is soaking wet. When was the last time it was changed? Yesterday, I think. Yesterday at midday. Yesterday at midday? Then they changed the dressing now. Gosh, we're slacking here, guys. Big time slacking. 
Uh, take care of your patients. Press and hold the shown buttons. Do not press any other buttons or more buttons than displayed. Try to react as fast as possible. Oh, gosh. I gotta react. Uh, M. Okay, I have to hold these. Interesting. Uh, L. C. U. Z. Where did the music go? It's very quiet and I don't like it. E. U. A. Treatment complete. Wow. Look at that. I'm a pro already, guys. Who was on duty yesterday? I think that's one thing this game needs, is it needs a little bit more background music. I don't know if it's just because I turned it way down. Um, but uh, A Night in the Woods had very iconic music to me. It was very... Um, it was just something you hadn't heard before. But the best track in that in that whole game, honestly, was when you would try to go um, with those three guys that have the radio on. And it was like... Dun, 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 it was like very worry. I don't know. It had a very interesting name to it. That was my favorite. It was so iconic. I mean, I was thinking I was going to change it. The storage room up here was empty and I was going to the basement to get a new dressing. And then you forgot about it. Is that what you're trying to tell me? I don't tolerate such sloppiness in this ward. Dr. Krakowski, it was probably just an oversight. Finley, you stay out of this. Get a grab, Mia. You're not going to get far if changing a simple dressing flusters you like that. Dr. Krakowski, let's not get so worked up. You know yourself how stressful it is here. We're also constantly understaffed in nursing. These two are new. They need to get warmed up first. That's no excuse. I don't want to see a mistake like that again. And what are you doing here anyways? This ward storage room is empty again. Just do your job and take care of it. These rounds are over. Yeah, it does seem like we're not doing a great job. I mean, if not her, somebody else should have made sure this was taken care of. Uh, sorry about that. We'll we'll get we'll get better. I promise. We're we're new. We're we're working on it, and apparently we're already late in our first day. What's going on over here? I expected more from you, Finley. If that's your best, then woe to this hospital. Well, dang. Okay. What is our objective right now? Uh, no tasks. Okay. Um, so we can check out these rooms, which I probably would do, but it seems like uh, you can't even talk to some of the patients anyways. I know it's pretty early into the game, so I'm not really expecting a whole lot, per se. Well, let's go over here and see what's going on. Hi, Lay. Hey, Carl. It was great of you to stand up to me just now. No problem. Oh, this was a dude? I thought this was a girl. I gave him a girl... A girl voice. I I'm sorry. Why are you standing here? I'm waiting for the damn elevator. It's broken. Again? Great. What are you up to? I have to go to the main storage room on the ground floor. You heard what Krakowski said. The ward storage room is empty again. I gotta get supplies. Need help? I sure won't say no. No, but I could, I could help you with the carrying. Let's not waste any time then. We'll take the stairs unless they're broken now as well. <laughs> Um, I'm pretty sure if the staircase was broken as well in a hospital, they the hospital would not be operating too well. What could be broken about a staircase? You have no idea, kid. Alright, let's go. Vominos, grab your backpack. You can lead the way. Okay, I'm not actually about to start singing door more than that. I'm sorry. I apologize. Alright, so we're gonna go to the main floor. Wait, oh, is there a basement? What's down here? Is it? Oh wait, is this the ground floor? Uh, where was that storage room? I, I, I honestly have no idea. There, there was a lot of rooms. Okay, guys, I don't know which one was the storage room. I think it was down here, though. This is our main storage room, my second home. Chaotic at first glance, but I have my system. You have a system? Yes, I have plenty of systems. You have your nervous system. Uh, your synap synaptic system? Is that what? Is that right? Is that one of them? I don't know. I'm asking you guys. <laughs> Let me get our stuff together. Finley, you better stay back, kid. Anything could be hiding in there. You think you're grabbing a cable, but in fact, it's a King Cobra. What? <laughs> you have King Cobras in here. Uh, a little concerning. 
Why don't we have any snake handling gloves? <laughs> we do. They're somewhere in the main storage room. Oh, yes, of course. That's something I would totally have on hand all the time. Uh, no jokes about King Cobras. Okay, okay. No need to get hysterical. <laughs> Please shut up. No jokes. Let's get this over with, kid. Agreed. Gosh, already terrible animal humor. I love it. Well, that's a lot of stuff. You, don't you think you should have a cart or something for this? The day will be over, we have to carry it all upstairs. Yes, and it'll also be the end of the day for my back. This hospital is really wearing me out. Who knows how many more years my body can take it. Why don't we ask the janitor to take a look at the elevator? Old Glendower, good luck with that. Don't you think it'll help us? Everything Gregor touches ends up being more broken than before. <sighs> I feel like that's me sometimes. Am I am I the Gregor in this in this reality? Come on, let's give it a try. All right, but only because it's just one room farther. I'm saving myself at every unnecessary step. After you. All right, I think he's in here. Hello, Mr. Glendower. Who's this? Oh, the newbie. What is it? Could you fix the elevator for us? I don't have any spare parts. You usually do it with duct taping and a glue gun. <laughs> what kind of hospital is this? This is a very rural hospital. And I think even the rural hospitals are better equipped than this. That's why it keeps breaking down. I'd rather save myself the trouble. Duct tape. Listen, Gregor, we need that elevator. And I need my cigarettes. I lost them somewhere, but where? No cigarettes, no help from me. If I find your cigarettes for you, will you help us with the elevator? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Say yes, you old grouch. Yes, yes, all right. I was on the front entrance parking lot this morning. I took the trash to the dumpsters to the back entrance, and I took a look at Ingrid's coffee machine, but there's nothing more I can do for you. So my soaks must be somewhere. I'm on it. I'm going back to our stuff. Don't want anything else getting stolen. Okay, so we need to check those three places, I'm assuming. Okay, interesting. It, like, clears my task whenever I look at it. Uh, so we'll go this way, because I think this is out to the back. Um... Let's see. Oh, we need to go to the other side, probably. That's where the trash is. We'll look back here. Gregor said he was at the dumpsters this morning. There really are cigarettes in here, and they still look pretty good. Reddish-brown sludge must have been on the pack before. Oh, perfect. So we found it already. Okay, that was super easy. I'm glad we didn't check in the other places first. Mr. Glendower, hello. Yes, newbie. Your cigarettes. I got them. They were by the dumpsters. Good stuff, kiddo. Are you really going to fix the elevator now with duct tape? Well, you got to work with what's available. I don't even ask them upstairs anymore. Management always promises they order new stuff, but nothing ever arrives. Maybe I'll give it a couple of good whacks. That usually helps, too. <laughs> Hopefully, you'll get it off my back when I'm done with it. No problem. Thanks. Yay, we did it, guys. We're going to fix the elevator with a few smacks and cigarettes. I'm always surprised when anything ever works in this dump. I'm not promising anything, but I think we can use the elevator again now. Pure luxury. Enjoy it while you can, it could soon be over. And when that time comes, try not to be in the elevator. <laughs> aye, aye. You are of great help, Finley. We can use people like you in this hospital. Gotta get help. Now get going. You should start taking care of your patients. Talk to Dr. Krakowski. She'll give you your assignments for day's shift. We'll do. See you later. There ain't no way around that. Alright. Oh. Interesting. So, oh, we're already on. Oh, okay. I was so confused. I'm like, why can't I go through that? We got teleported up a floor. Or a few floors. Alright, let's go find the doctor. Where are you going, huh? What do you think you're doing, huh? Okay, we'll, we'll find out what she's doing later. There you are, Finley. Where have you been hiding this time? I was helping Carl carry the boxes of storage room. They're pretty heavy. It's very kind of you, Finley, but let the nurses take care of that. You've done more than enough. I've assigned you three patients today. Look at your smartphone. My smartphone? We're testing digital patient records right now. You can download your patient information before your shift begins. Oh, okay. Got it. All right. New tasks available. Perfect. Downloading today's schedule. Download it from the cloud, guys. Okay, so we need to go to 301, 302, and P31. Alright, so let's go this way, because I know P31's right here. So we'll get that done and right away. Hello? Anyone in here? Yes, I need to diagnose you. Why are you sick? Good afternoon, Miss Delwyn. My name is Finley, and I am your attending physician. 
Hello, doctor. My name is Cassia Delwyn, and I'm your patient today. Here's to a good working relationship. I'll make a storybook patient, you'll see. Nausea, abdominal pain, muscle cramps. Hmm. What could that be, guys? I got it all. No spoilers, Miss Delwyn. Let me try to do my job well. All right, let's get it on it then. Ooh, do we do like a mini game? Is that how we like figure out? Diagnosis. Find the correct symbol combination. A blue mark shows you that a right that a right symbol is in the wrong position. A green mark shows you the right symbol is in the correct position. In addition, symbols will be highlighted green until they are in the correct position. A symbol will not be in the correct combination more than one time. Find the correct combination within eight rounds. A symbol will not be in the correct combination more than one time. Hmm. Uh, I'm just going to figure it out as I go. <laughs> I'll read instructions, but until I'm, like, actually doing it, I don't know. It doesn't really help me. Um, okay, so press W and S to decide which symbol to use. Got it. A and W to jump to the next position. So combination contains symbol, correct symbol. Okay, so we just need to, like, put symbols here, I guess? Press E to check how close you are to solution. Okay, so we had two of them that were correct, right? Combination contains symbol. Uh, correct symbol, correct position. Can I do no symbol? So I have to do a symbol. Um, Let's keep the eyes where they are and maybe do a heart or something. Okay, so that those are correct, and then we have these two. Let's kind of swap these around, maybe? Is that kind of what it was saying? Okay, I did it. <laughs> Look at me. Let's go. A plus, baby. I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> I did, and I didn't. I was like, okay, the green ones are good. The blue means they're good, but they're in the wrong spot. You know what helped me do this, actually? I can tell you exactly what would help you play that. Wordle. Wordle is what helped me figure that out. What do you think? I have a suspicion. We'll have to do some more examinations. Someone will come by later to draw blood. Oh, I can't do, I can't do blood drawing, guys. That's why I would never be in a profession like that. Even though I think the medical field is actually somewhere where I think I would be good at and I think I would excel, uh, not somewhere I would go just because of blood. I can't even get my own blood drawn. I'm not gonna go draw somebody else's blood, you know what I'm saying? Tomorrow we'll know more. All right, you have an ex. You are an excellent patient. I'll recommend you to the staff. Thank you. See you tomorrow then. I'll be here. Oh, and can you do me a favor? What can I do for you? If there's a blueberry pudding left over somewhere, I'll gladly take two tonight. If I can come across a blueberry pudding, it's all yours. Perfect. All right, look at that. We're the best doctor in the world. I am literally the best. I somehow figured this out like very quickly. I like the mini games though. I like that they're very simple. They give you enough tries to really get it done. Uh, can, I can say good things about that so far. What are you doing? What, where are you going? Don't be looking at my patients. All right, so we have another another bear and a cat. So we need to talk to the cat. Oh, Miss Kissinger, what's new? Kissinger. I don't. Is it Kissinger? I, I think it's probably Kissinger. I'm saying Kissinger, but it's probably Kissinger. I'm asking you. I'm spending most of my days lying in bed lately, doing nothing, looking out the window. Did you know that today is the beginning of the met meteorolog meteorological fall? Is that right? No, I didn't know that. We've never had so little rain in, in the summer as we've had this year. That's fine by me. Let me take another look at that rash of yours. How come you know so much about meteorology? Are you in pain? Um, I, I want to take a look at the rash. Does that hurt? Just lying around is pretty painful, you know? No, it's not that bad, I promise. Ooh, do we have another minigame? Okay, so I need to press the, the keys. D, O, N, A, Q, Z. This one's hard because I got to, like, put my fingers all over the place. G, A, K, I think that one could be improved a little bit as far as like how the game goes. I think it would be more fun is if I had to press the keys in a certain order rather than just pressing them and holding them. Cause that just makes it look like I'm playing um, 
twister with my fingers, you know? What do you think? That's a pretty nasty case of shingle. We need to keep an eye on your rash and treat it regularly. Your circulation seems fine, though. Alright, your instruments are pretty cool. They always are, I'm afraid. There's nothing you can do about it. One of the great mysteries of the universe. Fascinating. Have a lovely day. Alright, taking care of her. Let's go to the other bear. I'm pretty sure P31 is supposed to be like a polar bear. That's kind of what it looks like to me. And then I'm guessing um, 302 is kind of more like a brown bear? Something like that? Alright, it's not you. We need to go to the other person in the room. Hey, how's it going? Oh, much better. The painkillers have got me flying high. Okay, maybe we gave you a little bit too many painkillers, okay? Um, nope, marking that on my notes. <laughs> Patient in 302 is feeling really good. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Could I maybe have some... No! <laughs> Look at this! Look at this! We gave her too much. Now she's addicted. Well, unless it's absolutely necessary, then don't. Oh, that's too bad. How about under the table? <laughs> what? <laughs> For later, miss a bit. All right. My family physician is more relaxed about that kind of thing than you are. You won't need any more painkillers, I promise. Um, yeah, this is why we have an opioid problem here in America. We can't be doing this. I will take extra special care of your treatment. All right, I'll take your word for it. Ooh, minigame time. Let's go. Oh, no, not this one again. E. O. B. A. K. N. C. N. H. Yes, I got an A on that one. Okay, let's go. I was like, no, I don't want to know the B. I like how there's grading, so it makes me feel a little bit better about myself if I do good. You see, didn't hurt at all, did it? I don't know. It'll be gone after dinner. You have a doctor. Uh, I'll check on you again tomorrow, okay? All right. I can already tell you this guy is a way better doctor than anybody else I've ever seen. Most doctors are just like, yeah, do you have this? Do you have this? Do you have this? Do you feel any discomfort? Okay, goodbye. Okay, talk to Dr. Chris Kaus Krokowski. All right, let's go do that. Hey, don't be looking so mean about it. I'm doing you a favor, okay? I'm doing my job. I'm not giving you any grief. Do you take care of all your patients? Yes, all taken care of. I don't know what to make of you yet. Your performance could be better. What? I literally got A's except for the one, okay? I got a B, okay? I'll have you know I did pretty good. I don't want to demotivate you by having my eye on you. I want to see more from you tomorrow, understand? I don't want to disappoint you, Dr. Krakowski. I'll show you what I'm made of. Go home now. You're working the late shift tomorrow. Then we'll see what you're made of. Have a nice evening. All right, let's get out of here. Let's freaking... I go down here. Alrighty, I guess we have to leave. What do you have to say to me? Get out of here, kid. You're working the late shift tomorrow, aren't you? Yes, yeah, fun. They get a chance to sleep in. Sleep in? Never heard of it. Is that youth slang? Have a nice evening, Ingrid. That's what I would tell her. Just like, get out of there. It's like, I don't want to talk to you. Hey, already thinking about going home. Ready for the end of the day and ready for my bed. What? No, 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 no. Come down to Gilbert's with me and we'll have a drink together. One drink. One soon will become five. Come on, don't be a party pooper. All right, well, let's take Mia with us. She's had a rough day. Go ask her. I'll wait here. Uh, I've just seen Mia down here. She must be around here somewhere. All right, I gotta ask her. Oh, wait, did we check the vending machine? This vending machine sues me somehow. Oh, yeah, that is, it was the Choco Dogs. No matter what happens, the snacks here sit here and grow old gracefully. You need constants in your life. All right, let's go find Mia. Definitely not inviting Ingrid, that's for sure. Hello, Mia, where are you at? Mia, you in there eating? You better not be, because we're going to go to the bar tonight. We're going to get some drinks, get some burgers. It's going to be good. Actually, no, we probably shouldn't eat burgers. That's probably a bad idea. This is a game about animals. Uh, I'm not seeing her, guys. Oh, there you are. Are you loading dead bodies into here? Carl and I are heading over to Gilbert's for a drink. Want to join us? Mia. Hello, anybody there? Finley, leave me alone. I don't want to go. If you change your mind, you know where to find us. Have a nice evening, Mia. That was kind of weird. Oh, look, it's an old grumpy bulldog from, like, those paintings. 
freshly tapped beer like this always puts my feet back on the ground. No matter how much my day sucked. This is my yoga. I even took a yoga class once. Signed up for one, especially uh, at a gym out of town. It was pretty nice, but I only went a couple of times. It was a two-year contract, of course. But if you have the choice between a long ride on an old bus and the heat and the cold and the rain and storms or fresh beer just around the corner, it's an easy decision, don't you think? Hmm. What's the matter? Why so quiet? It's always been like this in the hospital. What do you mean? Well, I've only been there a few weeks and I fall into bed every night completely wiped out. Even now, I can barely keep my eyes open. Hmm. I did my training at St. Ursula's right after school. Learned under Dr. Theobald. He wasn't even the chief of medicine back then. Their internal medicine department was upstairs on the fifth floor. Come to think of it, that was all quite a while ago. There's a ward on six? There was. It was shut down at some point. Structural defects or something or another. Right. And was the work then like it is today? We didn't have all this digital stuff. The doctors were always leaving their pens in rooms. I had a really big pen collection at home. <laughs> and Ingrid still fit into our normal office chair. Wow, okay. Uh, but hey, the woman is awesome. Yeah, I like her too, kind of. But was it as stressful as it is today? Uh, hard to say. Like I said, it was all quite a while ago. I remember I was usually totally... Ex I was always totally exhausted in my first few months. But that feeling went away at some point. I think it's like jogging. At some point, you get past the point of exhaustion. You just keep running. I hate running. Same. Uh, how can anyone enjoy that? Not a clue. I bet Miss uh, Krakowski likes to run. That would explain a lot. <laughs> exactly. I gotta pee. Knock yourself out, but hurry up. I'm ready for another round. Yeah, she already finished her drink. We haven't even, like, touched ours. Hello there, sir. How are you doing? Leave me alone, kid. Okay. Whenever I see a dartboard, I get foggy flashbacks. I actually like playing darts, even though I rarely hit anything. I don't think I've ever won a match. But it's definitely better than foosball. I hate foosball. Wow, I love records. I don't know why exactly. I barely even listen to music. When I do, it's digital. But this scratching and the noises kind of remind me of my grandpa. Uh, we'll keep that on. How about that? Uh, it doesn't look like the bathroom's back here. Can I jump on this? I need to know for science. Ah! No, we can't do it. Um, let's see if we can get upstairs. Ooh, we have a cozy little reading area. Most of these books are older than me. Maybe older than Giuliano, even. But nearly sort of in alphabetical order. Perfect. That looks like a bath in me. What else is up here? What the? You can sleep up here? Gilbert is not just the only bar, but also the only motel in town. It's not exactly a tourist hotspot. Honestly, I've never even seen a tourist and porcupine. Maybe that's why there's only one room. Interesting. Why do old bar restrooms smell like artificial citrus scent? I mean, because they're trying to cover up many things in there. <laughs> I would imagine you got, like, piss, you got throw up, and um, cheap perfume. That's what I imagine a bar bathroom smell like. Um, I haven't been in a whole lot of bars. I've been in restaurants that also are bars, but not really just bars, per se. I mean, sure, nobody likes the smell of urine, but do you have to cover it up with something even more unpleasant? Whenever I smell that artificial lemon, it makes me wretch. Oh, whatever. Hold your... Hold your now and, and get through it. Alright. Gosh, that bathroom sounded horrible. Alright, going down. Anybody else in here? Can I jump on the table? Ugh, no, they don't let you jump on the table. I don't like that. The list of beverages hasn't been updated in a while. Light gooseberry beer, liver liquor, warm dormouse, and the barzooka seven rounds of surprise. Sounds... Let's look at this guy. Is this a turtle? Hey, Finley, my friend. You've stepped on your foot. Hey, Giuliano. Life. What's all this about? It's okay. Long story. I like long stories. I also like my life. <laughs> well, good. I'm glad you do. Uh, I love how he had to tell us that. You know, we're lucky to have something you can call a daily routine. What do you mean? I took out the trash today at noon. The garbage bag ripped. All the gunk ran down my pants. Oh, nasty. That is gross. Yeah, true. But not bad either, right? Yeah, there's worse things out there. I count myself lucky that I have nothing worse to tell you. Profound thought, but it's still a challenge sometimes with a daily life like that. Anyways, nice thought. Oh, what's on here? There's a newspaper article on the wall. The Barzuka hangs up his gloves. Boxing fans around the world have been in tears this weekend. As one of the most famous boxers in recent decades announced his retirement. In just seven years, the Barzuka hits his way into the hearts of the public, and now he's leaving him bruised. Barzuka commented on his decision at a board game convention. 
I have achieved everything in my career that I wanted to achieve. I have fought for love and peace in the rain, in the snow, in the burning sun. Now it is the time for me to face a longer and harder fight. That is why I'm retiring. The exact reasons for his retirement were not mentioned. In just seven years, he completed over 518 fights. 515 defeats. Two victories by the non-appearance of his opponent, and one victory by knockout when his opponent laughed so hard he couldn't continue fighting. The Barzuka was one of the worst boxers in history. Yeah, it kind of sounds like it. He was, however, revered by his fans and competitors for his humorous monologues. Wait a minute. The Barzuka? Hmm. Oh, I can't leave. Wait, guys, do you see that? Do you see that cat up there? Hmm. I wonder what that's a reference to. It looks like a certain somebody. I, I really hope this game is just a homage to everything that uh, A Night in the Woods is. Um, should I sit down? I don't think my beer was empty when I left. Yeah, what the heck it is empty? What? No, you drank it before you left, I'm sure. What the heck? Look behind you, a three-headed grouch. What are you staring at, shorty? Next round is on you. Okay, fine. Uh, let's sit down. There you are. Giuliano, keep them coming. The evening's only just begun. <laughs> oh gosh, we're just gonna get super plastered. Saint Ursula's has become an old lady. An old lady with her paint peeling off. It's frustrating. I've always wanted to be a good doctor, but I'm afraid the stress is too much for me. That I'll make mistakes. I'll just lose the meaning of my work. Baloney, you save lives each and every day. Name me one more thing that's important. The main thing is... Is to keep going, kid. Bah. I think the kid's right. You guys in that dump of yours is falling apart. You can't get anything done over there. Shut your mouth, Ralph. Nah, nah, nah. Let me tell you something. You come in here complaining about how hard your lives are. You should take a long, hard look at yourselves. Lazy, incompetent jerks that you are. You can't keep an indoor cactus alive. Dang. Okay. And you talk about curing people of cancer, you couldn't save my wife either. And why? Because you all have nothing between your ears, that's why. If it were up to me, I'd burn the entire place down. I've been sitting here for no idea what time it is. I'm still quicker witted than the two of you put together. <laughs> I like how he has no idea what time it is, but he's like, yeah, I'm smarter than you, by the way. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah? And what makes you think that, you old drunk? I'll prove it. Bums. Bums. We're playing bums now. Loser pays the tab. If you want to pay so oh bad, be my guest. Wait a moment. What's bums? Kid, haven't you been to a bar before? <laughs> huh. Alright, listen up. In bums, we take it to the counts from left to right. One, two, three, four, and so on. You can count, can't you? I think I can manage that. Good. However, you're not allowed to say the number if there's a three or a seven in it. Or if the number is divisible by three or seven. Oh gosh, I'm already going to fail this. In that case, you say bums in the direction we're counting in reverses. And if you count when it's not your turn, you lose too. Got it? I'm going to fail this, guys. Very miserably. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> I'm not getting any younger. Uh, w is to count. E is bums. Okay. Um, I go bums. It's my turn to count. Um, that's bums, right? Um, which number, which number are we doing? 14? Uh-oh, did I lose? Frick. <sighs> no wonder the people of Porcupine don't want to be treated by you. Well, sorry guys, I'm not too good at that. <laughs> Line up 10 shots for me, my friends. So just for me. Forget it, Carl. Let's just call it a day. <laughs> and the blowhard beat us, I have no idea. My mood shot, my beer tastes like crap now, so we call it a night. Yeah, let's get out of here. Join on, I'll pay the tab. <laughs> Alright, sorry guys, I'm not good at counting games. Because <laughs> mine would have been 15, so it would have been bums. That's what it was. Incoming call. Turn on your smartphone. Oh, I can choose to answer it or not. Uh, I'm sure we'll answer it. Finley, good morning. Pina here. What are you up to, matey? 
What, Pina? Yes, are you driving through a tunnel or am I mumbling? Mumbling. What's wrong with you? Are you sick? Have you been infected by a deadly virus from the hospital? Do you have a disgusting rash in your belly? Show me. No, no, I'm fine. I was drinking at Gilbert's last night. You drink? I had no idea. Clearly not often enough. Uh, but I'm working the late shift today so I can rest up. Blah, blah, blah. Let's do something. I already have an idea. Maybe at the marketplace or something I need you to see there. Oof, okay. Give me 30 minutes. Don't keep me waiting. Look, looking forward to it. See ya. Okay. Let's see what else we got going on here. Uh, meet Peanut at the market. Perfect. Okay, so it looks like we're on that far... Far in the town? I don't know where we are. Oh, hey. How's it going? Drinks for summer, drinks for fall, drinks for the blues, drinks for the heart, and fresh waffles. Mmm, waffles. I like waffles, too. Good morning, Giuliano. Good morning. Son, it's already gone midday. You look a, bit, a little bit disheveled. Yesterday's still taking its toll on me. Can't take much, huh? Just a little out of practice. And that thing with Rolf kept me busy for a long time. That thing? You mean your little intellectual battle? I do like it when things aren't always settled with fists. Even if at the end of the day you don't agree. More concerned with what he said about you guys. About the hospital. Hello there. I'd also like to be able to play the guitar. Is this guy an otter? Hi, friend. I'm sorry I didn't mean to interrupt. Keep playing. I like your music. It's all good. I hit pause on my guitar. I'll continue playing. Your guitar has a pause button? Sure, everything has a pause button. If you think about it, you just have to find it. I don't think that's true. You're not from Porcupine, are you? Nah, I'm just visiting. I'm performing at your hibernation fest one. I thought I'd check the place out. It's going to get colder soon. It's supposed to rain today. Looks like that's it for summer this year. But you can't celebrate a hibernation festival in summer, can you? I'll be there for sure. It's my first hibernation festival. Of course you'll be there. I want to see you in the front row. Have a good one. See you. Alright, seems like a nice guy. Uh, I've only been here in the evening before. The fountain was always off then. It's nice to see it in action. There's a little stone plaque there. Ninoslav Honoratus, founder of Porcupine, it says. Well, he looks like a porcupine. Makes sense. There you are. Where have you been? Hey, Pina. I'm glad to see you, too. You look tired. You okay? Yes, everything's fine. Lots on the, lots going on in the hospital right now. And Giuliani's, Giuliano's gooseberry beer is really tasty, but my head is pounding. You just can't take anything. Evening didn't end so well last night. Um, let's ask why, what's going on in the marketplace instead. Let's not dwell on last night and my inability to, to figure out what number we're at. We're preparing for the hibernation festival. The stage construction has already started bit early in my opinion but the city wants it that way best to play it safe what do you have to do with it i'm in charge of the greenery for the marketplace and stage you have that many plants in store that's what we're discussing right now i still have to get a lot more before then but it's gonna be great you should be looking forward to it uh didn't you say we we're gonna do something yes yeah, sure what was that we're going for a ride why did i have to come to the marketplace then can i not you pick me up who do you think I am? I have to work after all, unlike you lazy bones. I thought the little walk went into you any harm. Well then, shall we go? Um, sure. I guess we'll go. Why not? We got that busy beaver over there working. I don't think we're in the water for a second. I know that was a car, but we're gonna walk from here. Where are we? This is Glow Milk Woods. I like to come here when I'm stressed and need a fresh air. And you seem pretty stressed lately. I thought you could use a walk. I seem stressed. Yep. Here we go. You're going to love it. Okay. There's a little windmill back there. Wait for me. Alright. Let's see what's going on over here. We haven't really gotten to go out of town much for the hospital. So... Oh, now you're following me, huh? Love this music track, though. This is what I wanted to hear. I think the hospital, I don't know if it was just too subtle, but I wasn't really hearing a lot of music. That's that's what a game like this needs. It's really in-depth music. It needs good conversations. It needs it needs morals and importance. I've always thought hearts like that only exist in cheesy movies. I mean, I'm happy for them. But I didn't have to torture the poor tree for it. Who knows if they're still together. The tree has been scarred forever now. A love scar. Gag. Feel dirty now. Right, so let's go. Yeah, let's. I like how we just never change out of our work clothes. We're just like stuck in this outfit forever. Oh, there's a tree. We gotta go up this way. I 
paid as much in the city as I paid for the night my apartment here, then it'd probably be no bigger than this little house. But the windmill is nice. I have a very nice windmill. Can I go that way? Oh, okay, interesting. It's very interesting how they, they've done this, like, where it's, like... Uh, it's almost kind of hard to tell, like, where necessarily things are. I really, like, pay attention. Oh, can I not go up here? Oh, I can't. Okay, I'm not sure if that actually was taking me anywhere, but... Wow. What's that? That's all that's left. Left of what? There used to be some kind of stronghold here a few centuries ago. Even before Porcupine was founded, there was a village right at the foot of a forest. And here in the forest, there lived a count. Or a king. Or whatever. I mostly skipped history. I see. And that's it. Does the moss grow extra fast here? This room built from healing stones. Does this wall tastes like raspberry when you lick it? <laughs> We have to go with that one. We have to go with that one. That'd be amazing. I'd move up here and just lick the rocks all day. No, back when there was a cow or a king or whatever, they actually lost something here. A little golden statue. I heard that statue worked like a divining rod. No, not water, but treasure. It attacks treasure. The statue has been lost ever since and is said to be lying around here somewhere still. No one's been able to find that statue, but they say anyone who goes looking for it will be rewarded with their own treasure. How ironic. Hey, don't make fun. I used to climb around here a lot when I was a kid and found lots of treasure. Now it's your turn. You could use some treasure today, so let's go searching. Do I have to? We're not leaving here until you find your treasure. Alright, gotcha. Alright guys, where's the treasure at? Where do you see it? Uh, we're gonna go up here. I'm guessing this is gonna be the parkour part of the game. I'm not a huge fan of doing parkour, but... Uh, I will... I'll figure it out. I wish I could just jump to that one. That would be a lot easier. Oh, can I not jump to that one? Really? That's lame. Okay, thank goodness. I don't have to cut anything out. Like, that would have been a pain in the butt. Alright, let's see what's going on over here. Gosh, I can't even see. <laughs> I don't know where I'm landing. Okay. Until I find a treasure, there's no way Pina's gonna come with me. I just found a treasure! What do you mean? This is a treasure. It's a stick! It's clearly the best treasure of all. Well, are we happy, Dr. Jones? Hmm, I don't know. I just found this old stick. That's perfect. We found the magical stick of uh, Ethereum. I don't know. Really, it's just a dried up old stick there all over the place. But this stick comes from the magical ruin. That means the stick is magic too. Well, of course. Your own magic stick, I'm quite jealous. Does that count? Absolutely, come on. Let's go and take good care of your magic stick. Uh, can I go up now or do I have to go back down? See what's all over this way. This is a shortcut back to the city. Who knows? Out of breath already. Well then, let's go. We're almost there now. Well, it's kind of weird exploring in the the city with with shrubs. <laughs> oh, I just realized my camera placement's rather unfortunate. You guys can't really see that I have the stick up here. Uh, there you go. You can you can kind of see it through my head. I I did make my background kind of like see-through which is nice i like that you guys can kind of see what's going on behind it except for my head just covers the stick i wonder is this going to be the end of the demo right here this seems like a little bit of a good place to stop with the view of the city and it'll show the logo again and say thanks for playing we'll see how do you like it the view is great i mean in porcupine settled in yet not really well, I think it's really nice here, but even though the town is small, I still haven't gotten my bearings. It's unfamiliar. Why are you still here? Well, I grew up here. I was even born in St. Ursula's. Really? Yeah, so was everyone else in Porcupine. And I never thought about that before. There's a part of me that longs to get away. To the big city or to another country far away. But another part of me keeps here. I like the small alley alleys but the narrow streets i like the people here and of course i like my store i feel like it can make a difference here 
I always realize that at this time of year, especially when the Hibernation Festival is coming up. Heard about that. That's why you were at the marketplace, right? Hibernation Festival is the best time of the year for me. There's always drinks, live bands, dancing all night long, and of course, the biggest stew contests. Everyone comes together again before the cold season hits. Hmm. What is it? I hope I can make a difference here, too. Well, of course, Finley. Look at you. You're a doctor. Sure, but it's not easy either. Nobody said it was. You can also make small things happen. For example... For example, do you still have your magic stick? I thought for a second that they were gonna chuck it. Just like, yeah! <laughs> just throw it at the city. We can take back the city, we'll just throw a stick at it. That's your monument. The people of Pokemon will be craning their necks skyward to see. Skyward to gaze upon this mighty edifice. Who was this Finley? How did he make it all the way up here? It was Pina Sene, tree master and queen of plants, really as hot as they say she was. That's what they'll be wondering. They'll be they'll sing ballads about us in the taverns. The children will really enact your adventures in the streets. You'll see. Sounds like a plan. Thanks. Don't mention it, Finley. Now it's your turn. Make it happen, my student. Uh, we should get going. My shift is about to start. Okay, fine. My arms are getting tired too. I can give you a ride. Thanks. Stop thanking me for everything or you'll have to walk. Got it. Thanks. <laughs> Aw, dang it. I tried to go and jump off the edge. They wouldn't let me. We can glide, so it would have been okay. Like, we would have been fine. Again, I won't thank you for the ride. So no thanks. <laughs> wasn't my pleasure. Please don't ever call me again. That trip was really lousy. You ruined my entire day. Don't worry, I'll gladly never take you anywhere again. Really hope you don't. Oh, and it's raining just in time. We would have gotten soaked out there. Are you made of sugar? Think of the plants. They need something to drink too. The summer was extremely dry. Yes, you're right. You don't mind the rain? Not at all. I love the rain. You must be an Oregonian then. You you have to be either from Oregon or Washington to really love rain that much. I kind of get like an Oregon or a Washington vibe from this anyways, so. I got my ass kicked yesterday because I was late. You go ahead, I'll stay here a little longer and enjoy the rain. Don't let them get to you. Never. Uh, start your shift. No, I want to get over this wall. I refuse. Now I'm going to steal this car. Ooh, we can get on the trash can. I like that. Okay, we're going to hopefully not be late today. I think Gregor just gave up, or he had too much respect for art. Alright, into the hospital we go. It's a rainy day for our shift. Ooh, we have other people in here today. We work here. I just started, but at least I get to wear scrubs already. Wisecracker. I've been waiting half an hour. I need to talk to the chief of medicine. Do you know where he is? No, sorry, Dr. Theobald is always very busy. I myself have only ever met him during the Chief of Medicine's rounds. I've been standing around here forever, and the first person I run to is the rookie. Fantastic. Is there anything I can do to help you? Not unless you get promoted to Chief of Medicine today. Ah, I could try. <laughs> I'll count to three. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no, she's counting. I want to know what happens. All right, all right, well, guys, we're gonna do it. Am I gonna get into huge trouble? Never mind. I've had enough. Come here, you ankle biter. Oh no, is she gonna kick us out? Oh no! Every good story is a lesson. Never kidding. Restore, recover. What does that mean? All right. I hope you've learned your lesson. Now get the hell out of here. You almost made me spill my caramel latte. Gosh, I was like, did I just get a game over? Did I just ruin everything that I did? Okay, good. We're exactly where we need to be. There was restore and recover, though. Like, what's the difference? Is recover, like, choosing a save point, maybe? Uh, we'll go ahead and go up the elevator. Gosh, I actually got a game over while playing the demo. I can't believe that. Alright. Let's go start our shift. I'm assuming we need to talk to... Um... Krakowski here. Finley, there you are. I wanted to talk to you before your shift. What's up, Dr. Krakowski? You're the new guy here at St. Ursula's. You have a lot to learn. I hope you realize that yourself. 
This hospital can't afford any mistakes. You mustn't disappoint me. I want you to be able to rely on you. Agreed. I always do my best. Good. You have the opportunity to prove that to me tonight already. I have to go to a main meeting. That means you're on your own today. I'll talk to you in the morning. Don't screw things up. Okay. New tasks available. Let's go ahead and download those real quick. All right. Uh, looks like kind of the same roster as before. So let's start at 302 since we're already here. I am enjoying this game so far. I mean, what do you guys think? Are you, if, if you've made it to an hour into the video, I'd assume you're probably enjoying it somewhat. Uh, it's not like full of adventure, right? But I feel like A Night in the Woods wasn't absolutely like packed either with stuff. Um, I'm enjoying it though. I like reading and listening to people's lives and, and getting to know more about them. I like these kind of easygoing games. They're a good um, balance between visual novels where you're constantly like, reading stuff. This, you get to like jump around, you get to explore things. I kind of like the mystery of that. Not a good evening at all. I'm miserable as hell. I'm in a lot of pain. I'm nauseous too. I guess we'll have to increase the dose of your painkillers after all. Can you up it quickly, please? I'm really not well. Okay, I'll talk to the nurses right away, but let's not overdo it. I'll change your dressing for now. Go ahead, I'll just picture someplace nice. Ooh, so we have to do that. Oh, not this game again! They really need to get a new game. N. Oh, did I not hold it long enough? Oh, definitely not getting an A on this, guys. Oh. I forgot, you have to hold it. Like, it's not just like, okay, once you got all three. Yeah, I know that was a B. I'm sorry, that was not great. But, you know, I got the job done. Okay, done. Now, could you please tell the nurses? I've already put it in your file. It'll be taken care of. This person is such a druggie. They're literally just trying to get more painkillers. They're, they're totally fine. I wish we could talk to this other person. Just like, hey, how's it going? You know, be a nice person. Um, so we need to go to 301, so let's go ahead and go in here. Knock, knock. Who's there? Wish I could run a little bit faster. Good evening. How are you today? I'm feeling a little bit better. Your colleagues have been taking good care of me. I'm glad to hear that in the pain. Still there, but I've managed to turn myself over in the meantime. It opens up a whole new world, I tell you. Yes, pain sometimes shows us how good we actually have without it. Wise words. Uh, what do you think about the rain? What do you think? Look outside. It's raining cats and dogs. That's right. Fantastic, isn't it? You think so? Yes, there's been so little rain the past few weeks. I bet it's just not the plants that are, are happy to have a little water. You're not wrong there. I'd like to take another look at your shingles. Of course. I feel fine, but I haven't gotten up in two days either, so a look probably won't hurt. I feel like it's going to get worse. Oh, no. Not this again. <laughs> Why did they keep making me do this game? A. Q. Z. Ah. Uh, why'd you make like the worst combination possible? Okay, that's an A, right? There we go. I wonder if you can get higher than an A. You have to be really fast. I am not fast, said Baymax. There you go. You're on the road to recovery. Nonetheless, I'm afraid you have to stay here a few more days. Shingles are not to be trifled with. But it sounds nice. It reminds me of Christmas. <laughs> like, <laughs> don't know, from Shingle Bells were the first thing that came to mind. Really, I thought of, like, shingles on a roof, personally. But, have a great day. Alright, 2P31. We're gonna go talk to the polar bear. I'm gonna feel really bad if that's not a polar bear, and I've been just saying that this entire time. Alright, off to do our tasks. I wish they gave us, like, different rooms, though. It's been the same room so far. I would like to have a little variety here. Get to talk to some new people. I want to know what's going on with our other friend, though. The the one downstairs, Mia. Well, she was downstairs before. Good evening, Miss Delwyn. Oh, Doctor. I've already forgotten. It's raining outside. I'm glad to see you, too. Was your pudding hunt successful? I'm afraid not. But, you know, another day, another pudding. I'll keep my fingers crossed. What can I do for you today? I'd like to discuss the results of yesterday's blood test with you. Sounds great. Your blood sugar levels are abnormal. Nothing alarming yet, but let's find out what's wrong with you. Glad they am prepared for anything. Blood sugar levels are abnormal. Okay. 
Uh, we're gonna do hand. We're gonna do two. We'll do another hand. Do brain. Uh, what's another simple? We'll do like the what's this urinary tract. Okay, so that one's good, and then we have two others that are kind of in the right spot. Um, let's do brain here. We'll do hand. Um, do a bone. Let's try that. Okay, perfect. So we have that. Those three are good. These two are totally wrong. We'll do a foot and a tooth. How about that? Let's go, baby. I'm so good at this. What the heck? <laughs> I'm literally just messing around right now. I have no idea what I'm doing. All right. I like that mini game. That mini game's good. <laughs> it's much better than the other one. Okay, I know what's wrong with you. I'm afraid you're suffering from a form of diabetes. Oh, dang, diabetes would suck. Oh, my mom has type 2 diabetes. I mean, not that I, I think she really does much. I she, think she takes some medication for it, but I don't know. I don't know how much she actually like, changed her diet. I'm like, you probably should cut down on the sugar. Diabetes is not a rare disease. There are many treatments available now. I think you can go home tomorrow. But you have to be treated with medication as soon as possible. That'll keep your blood sugar level stable. If the discomfort will go away. And the blueberry pudding? I'm afraid you have to be a little more careful with those in the future. But since your blood sugar is too low right now, you'll get two today. Okay, that does sound better. Thank you. <laughs> you'll be back on your feet soon, I promise. Oh, I get two puddings? Okay. Yeah, I'm feeling great, doctor. Yeah, let's go. This freaking guy. Finley, there's a problem. What's up? Mr. Arndes. What, the, what do you mean? Mr. Arndes is up and gone. Is Mr. Arndes a patient? Yes, now focus. He was lying in his bed just now and left for a moment, and then he was gone. Do you have any idea where he could be? Maybe he just went to the bathroom. Well, that's the first place they looked, of course. The man is old and suffering from dementia. He shouldn't be wandering around all alone. I've already searched the whole ground floor. No trace of him. I'll help you. We'll find him. Great, Mia's already on the lookout, too. Oh, man, if, Mr. if Krokowski finds out, I'll be a head shorter. Oh boy, we gotta find this guy. Broth milk, a little sugar I dream of you every night. Hmm. Okay, I was just seeing if, if they were maybe in one of the rooms. Uh, maybe we'll just go wandering around and try to... I'm not sure where exactly they'll be. Would they be like on this floor somewhere? Or would I have to search the rooms? It doesn't look like I have to search the rooms. That's good. Uh, just make sure they're not over here anywhere. Here's the bathroom. Okay, it doesn't appear so. So let's go into the hallway maybe. Maybe they're like by the trash can or in the parking lot or something weird. Yes, we can walk on there. I like it. Okay, let's... um. Let's just look upstairs, kind of just chill in here real quick. Okay, not in there. Just wonder if maybe they went like way up here. I can see a light. Is there someone inside? Mr. Arndays, is that you? Still locked. Maybe the elevator can get me there. Okay, so we gotta go back to the elevator. Perfect. Alright, back to the elevator, guys. Just waiting for the, the bat symbol. Do, 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 do. Okay. To the fifth floor. What would happen if I went in the elevator before then? That doesn't sound good. For a moment I thought the elevator was going to come crashing down. Why is it stopped here? Is that the fifth floor ward? Carl told me something about it. The door looks like it used to be blocked. Maybe the patient ended up in there too. I'll have to check. Yeah, this doesn't look, you know, suspicious or anything. It's just a glowing green light. Not weird at all. Is there going to be something, like, absolutely, like, strange going on here? Oh, I love the effect in the eyes. That's so cool. Hello. Oh, we got to do some parkour in here. His notes have been here for a while. Yeah, this isn't creepy at all, guys. Oh, 
Perfect. I'm just making sure there's nothing else going on here. Um, I didn't know this was a horror game. Yeah, don't want to go this way. <laughs> I don't want to go this way. Um, nope, not enjoying this. I thought this was going to be a nice, happy game. Why does that look like a body? No, is this going to be like a night in the woods where there's something else going on? I don't want to spoil any more than that, but there was some weird things going on in the night in the woods. I need to get him out of here quickly. Someone there? Uh... What just happened? You're gonna end it there. You're gonna end it here. This is, you end it here on this note. I thought this was gonna end on a happy ending of like, oh, you know, this is a nice game with some, some animals and it's fun. And you know, you're a doctor. It's a little bit more mature, right? You're gonna end it there. What? Oh no, I don't like this at all. I wanted to know it was getting good. I was like, what the frick is going on? Someone's dead? <sighs> when is this game coming out? This game needs to come out tomorrow. I need to play more. Um, gosh. Well, I'll say it was it was quite quite the slow beginning, and it was just like, oh, we're just kind of introducing you to the characters, introducing you to the kind of the main loop of the game. Um, clearly there's some more work that needs to be done here, right? I uh, definitely think that maybe the minigame variation needs to change a little bit. That could be improved. But, um... Uh, I would definitely say continue to work on the music. I feel like there needed to be more soundtracks in between everything. It felt like there was a lot of, like, silence in it. I know Porcupine is the town of silence, but... Um, the, the music tracks I did hear were really good. I really liked those. Uh, the characters were all all entertaining on their own right. I like that. Um, I would have liked to be able to talk to every single character there is. There was some characters that were just kind of chill in there and I couldn't talk to them. Don't like that. Um, but they did pay some good attention to the details. I'll say that. Uh, I did like those parts. And then, of course, I liked that ending right there. That ending was great. I liked I like when there's a mystery to things. I don't... I don't want to just see people's lives all the time, right? I like a good balance of that and a bigger mystery that's going on that we're trying to figure out. And maybe maybe meeting people that are going to be a part of this bigger mystery. I will say that I hope the mystery is not as convoluted as A Night in the Woods. If you have not played that, please go play that. Unfortunately, I played that before I started really doing YouTube again. Uh, so I will not be playing that on my channel. Uh, but I will definitely be playing this. This will definitely be something I'm now interested in, and now we'll be playing for sure. I uh, really like this demo. That was that was wonderful. Uh, I hope this is coming out soon, though. If you tell me this is coming out in 2023 and it's going to be a while, this journey will continue soon with some exciting news. Please add follow up to find your wish list. I will definitely do that, and I recommend you guys as well if you want to play it for yourself, or I will be playing it for sure, as long as they're okay with that. I know some people don't like you recording their games. We'll see. But yeah, okay. Uh, Fall of Porcupine. That that took a, a, an interesting twist. I really liked it. Um, it has something to do with Mia. I can tell you that though. Mia definitely had something. She she was standing there, was really kind of angry, um, and standing at that um, that ambulance there, kind of before we went to the bar. Gosh, I'm just. I need to know what's happening right now. Please tell me this game's coming out soon, like before winter. I would love that. If it's coming out in the next few months, I'll be ecstatic. I don't think that's the case, though. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that as much as me. Um, that was a look into Fall of Porcupine Last Days of Summer. I could not tell you what studio name that is, because I believe it's German. So it should be pretty good. It has a very strong A Night in the Woods vibe, and I really like that. Um, so definitely check out A Night in the Woods, too, if you like this, um, and you haven't seen that already. 
They're they're very similar, and you'll like both, I believe, if you like one or the other. Anyways, guys, appreciate you. Have a good one, and I shall see you when this game comes out fully. I'll definitely be playing it. Have a good one.